Hello, today I wanted to go through just a few more of the settings inside of the Gmail client. So inside of your Gmail we're going to click on settings and today we're going to start with forwarding and pop IMAP. Now if you're using your webmail Gmail account you're probably not going to want to do too much with this settings but in here you can actually make it so that any email that you receive automatically gets forwarded to another email address. So if you were setting up a Gmail account that would just be used for maybe just a project that you're working on or very specific use and you wanted all of the emails to be sent to um, your normal email account that way you could have a separate one just for that project that you gave out but that way you didn't have to give out your normal email address you could do that um, you also down here can set up pop downloads which would let you be able to access your gmail accounts from a pop interface and pop is just a, a protocol that's used by different email programs like Outlook or some telephones uh, cell phones will actually use the pop interface to download your messages so you can set that up in here and your IMAP access is another way for other clients like Outlook or a mobile phone to access your email. I'm not going to go into those too much because my point of these videos is to try to get you to use Google products and those are more for using Gmail and an outside service. Chat is another really helpful little tool that's set up inside of Gmail where you can actually have friends set up where if they're online you can send them a direct message so you don't even have to email them but a chat is actually built right into your Gmail. So in here you can set all of your chat options and um, how you want that to look. So you may want to look through those and set those to the way you'd like them. Web clips, I'm going to jump back here to this inbox. When you see up above the buttons here where it says Kennedy Space Tours um, that's an advertisement but you can actually control a little bit of what types of things show up in that little web clip here in web clips you can choose what things you're interested in or you can even turn it off if you would prefer that it not be there the other thing that I wanted to go through today was themes if you're the kind of person who likes to have custom pictures I'll jump back to this email for example you'll see that I've got a nice little landscape sunset picture in the background if you wanted to change those types of the way your Gmail looks you can come into themes and pick which theme you think would look best for your email and once you set it it helps if I could type correctly when you go to your inbox it'll actually use that theme so that your Gmail would look more to your liking. So those are a few of the settings that you may want to change inside of your theme, inside of your um, settings for Gmail and feel free to play around with them and make it look and feel exactly the way you would like. Hope that helps. Goodbye.